This video is brought to you by Ace of 12 Productions. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to enjoy the videos. Also, please try and comment and rate the videos. Thank you. Hello and welcome to this tutorial by Ace of 12. Today we're just going to be going through using the else statement in batch. Um, anyone who's seen the handling user input batch video I put up a while ago um, knows that we did, we uh, tackled taking in user input and sorting it out using if statements and I think I myself said that there was no else statement uh, well in fact there is so uh, let's let's just take a look at this m uh, menu a simple menu using uh, what I taught you in that previous video so here we've we've uh, echoed the options taking in the input sorting the input and then the sections for each of the different inputs and if we just run this for example Let's just quickly close that, and then we'll type in 2 for notepad++. Plus plus. Okay, so it opened notepad++. Plus plus. I don't want to do Cam Studio, because I'm actually screen recording with that. Uh, and I don't want it to sort of mock up. So uh, let's just try Mozilla. Okay, so here it's launched uh, Mozilla with a new tab. Um, so basically, we get the gist. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can trust that the Cam Studio one works as well. Um, but... Let's take a look. If we enter um, accidentally 4, okay, our program shuts down. Well, we don't really want that, so um, let's take a look at how we can uh, tackle that problem. Um, if we take a look at our code, um, we, well, most of the time if you program in another language, you know that when you use if statements, you have the curly brace to uh, um, sort out all the input that goes if the condition is true. Well, it's the same sort of principle whoops, uh, with uh, batch, except we're going to use a, um, instead of a curly brace, we're going to use a parentheses. Um, and the reason is because uh, for our, our else statement has to begin on the same line that the if statement ends. So by using these parentheses, this if statement doesn't end until it, the parentheses are closed. So we just close it here and then we type the else statement here. Um, you can of course do it like that, but that just looks messy. So we uh, generally put it down here. Um, but our, our else statement won't go here quite yet. We're gonna keep those uh, parentheses though, because we need them still. Uh, so just go ahead and uh, put in these parentheses up until the last one. Well, carry, do it to all of them in fact, yep. And then on the last one, where we close, you're just going to type, put a space after the parentheses, then type else, open the parentheses again, and uh, go to error, then close those parentheses. So, anyone who uh, has a bit of common sense can see this is going to do a um, couple of things here. Okay, so first it's going to check to see if the input was 1, and if it is, okay, that's great. If it isn't, it's going to check to see if it's 2, and if it's not 2, it's going to check to see if it's 3, and if it's not 3, it's going to check, uh, it's, sorry, it's not going to check, it's going to revert to our else statement, which is go to where, we're just going to put an error down here. Uh, before we get on to this, you're probably wondering, uh, uh, shouldn't we have an else statement for all of them? Well, no, in fact, uh, because if you take a look at this, okay, uh, it's clear to see, if we input a, um, a letter or four for instance like I showed you before it's still gonna go through all these if statements before it uh, gets this exit statement so even if this was gone let's just cut that out there uh, if this was gone if we input four it still has to go through all of these checking before it exits the program so um, one thing to remember with the else statements is you only need one or you only put one uh, I actually went through a stage where I was continually putting uh, else statements after every uh, if statement like that. And what happened is, uh, of course with this one, it, um, if you put one there as well, it would check to see if it was one, and if it wasn't, it would go to the else statement, it would hit the else statement, and it wouldn't even have a chance to check the two or the three. So that's a big mistake, don't do that at all, okay? Um, so only have it on the last one, remember. Okay, now we're just going to fill out error. We're going to just echo and tell the person that uh, their input was invalid. So just say, your input was invalid. 
please try again. Okay, now we're just gonna give a pause so they can have time to read it, and then we're gonna say go to begin. And finally, we're just gonna put begin up here. Okay, and if we save that, run it again. Okay, oops, accidentally put in four. Your input was invalid, please try again. Pause. Okay, and because it all that other stuff disappears because our begin was up here, and so it will hit the CLS, which is uh, good. It helps us keep a tidy screen. It's not like if you keep continue accidentally, accidentally pressing 4, it's not going to fill up your entire screen all the way down here. It's going to uh, stay nice and clean up at the top here. So uh, anyway, this was just a quick tutorial. Um, I thought I'd like to uh, do one after that long pause where I had to re-upload all those other videos. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this. This has just been a quick tutorial by ASUB12 on else statements in batch. Goodbye.